Eleanor's presentation that they've collaborated on, even though they each researched two seemingly, not so much though, different leaders originally. Hello folks, welcome to, welcome to Girls Who Change the Rules. Tonight we're here with Malala Yousafi, a girl who fought for women's rights and education all over the world. Hello. So, Malala, when were you born? I was born on July 12, 1997. Why did you want to help others with the problem of girls not being treated fairly? I wanted to help because girls were not treated fairly until I got. New sources say that you were shot on the bus on your way home. Yes, that is true. Why did they shoot you? I was shot for going to school and wanting an education. Also, I was telling the news about what was going on in Swat Valley. What made you go on after you were shot? I wanted to go on because I wanted to help others that don't have schools or aren't allowed to learn. I'll go on for that. What do you think would happen if you were to see the Taliban men that shot you again? I wouldn't want war on them. I would want education for their children. What do you think would happen if the Taliban men saw you? I've thought about that for a while. I know that something will happen that won't be good. It's one thing to know they're out there and another to see them face to face. I mean, they tried to take away my life. They put power to the gun. I just know it won't be good. New sources also say that you won the Nobel Peace Prize. How did you feel to win the Nobel Peace Prize? Yes, I did win the Nobel Peace Prize. I was the youngest person to win at age 19. I felt very honored and overjoyed. It was so amazing. I've gone so far, and I won a Peace Prize. Thank you for the interview. And then we have a quick costume thing. <laughs> We're going way back in time. <laughs> Girls Who Changed the Rules. 